It's good to be an adult. You know what the worst age is? Being a tween. That's horrible. I saw this 12-year-old on the subway the other day freaking out over nothing. He's like, I am in love with Vanessa. And she won't even like sit beside me at lunch. I want to walk up to this poor like little boy and be like, honey, relax, you have nothing to worry about. You're a hundred percent gay. Yes. Yes. I wish I knew I was gay when I was 12. Oh. Do you know how fucking amazing sleepovers would have been? <laughs> Truth or dare, uh, dare. <laughs> yes, yeah, same dare as last week. Show me your titties, everyone. <laughs> yes, yeah, bring your mom down here. Let's play this game. <laughs> it is ladies night. Even if they pick Truth, I'd be like, Truth, how do y'all feel about showing me your titties? <laughs> I had a hard time coming out to my dad because he's Muslim. Yeah, now he expects me to get like 10 wives. <laughs> That's a lot of wives. I did get one wife. I got married last year, guys. <laughs> My wife is awesome. Her family is from the South, uh, Republican. They go to church every Sunday. I was the first like lesbian girlfriend she introduced. I guess the others were straight. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine how terrifying that must have been for them? Like what they expected to come to their house in Virginia that day, the first lesbian. Must have been a horrible, like, I've stolen your daughter's heart. <laughs> and I built a deck out front. <laughs> collars, 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 plaid, cats. <laughs> <laughs> but they love me. This is the amazing thing. They fucking love me. I know my father-in-law loves me because he took me hunting and he didn't shoot me. <laughs> my father-in-law woke me up at three in the morning. I put on this orange onesie. We go into the woods. He's like dipping tampons and deer pee and hanging them on bushes. I'm looking at him like, who's got the weird lifestyle now? <laughs> I wanted to come out to my Muslim family for a really long time, uh, but my dad was always like, shh. Keep it a secret, man. <laughs> Secrets are cool. I was like, Dad, I'm married now. What's your five-year plan with this secret? I just keep on showing up to family things with like, my white best friend. <laughs> she loves Ramadan. <laughs> Pretty soon we've got like a little kid best friend. <laughs> I do want a kid, eventually. That's the only thing that sucks about being a lesbian is like, in order to have a baby that looks half like me and half like my wife, I need my brother's sperm. <laughs> no straight girls ever need their brother's sperm <laughs> for, to complete this potion. <laughs> no, I need it. And it's not for me. Some people are weird after shows. They're like, you can't put that shit inside of you, man. Your babies will be weird. <laughs> like, you're weird. <laughs> they think I wanted to make like a super Jaleese. <laughs> like, yep, she's 90% blind, 50% deaf, but 100% Jaleese. <laughs> no, I want my brother's sperm so that my wife does a handstand. I do a layup and just, pff, baby. <laughs> what? The gayest move in the WNBA. <laughs> Done. I asked him for a super cash. <laughs> She's like, how's your day? Can I have like a dollop of your sperm? And his real response was, uh, I just don't know how my future wife would feel about it. I was like, I don't know how I feel about your future wife being such a bitch. <laughs> she sounds horrible. I'm Sabrina Jalise. Have a great night, guys.